everyone, my name is Sergeant Lazar and I'm with the Roanoke City Sheriff's Office. I have here with me today the Community Engagement Assistant. Ladies, are you excited to be here? Very Absolutely. Excited. My name is Kayla Gilbert and I am Tiana Schmidt. All right, so ladies, we're here and we're wanting to let our community know of all the fun things that we have yes. coming on for the month of May and how they have the opportunity to interact with us and see a little bit more about what we do and all the partnerships that we have created. And so I'm looking forward to hearing about all the things that we've been working hard yes. planning and I hope you guys are ready for it. So first up is National Correctional Officers Week. So we're gonna take the time to celebrate our deputies and all the hard work and sacrifice that they make working those long 12 hour shifts because listen, if you've ever worked a 12 hour shift at nighttime, it gets hard. We're gonna kick that week off and it's gonna be May 6th through the 10th and we have a lot of different events and activities set up and we like free food. Who doesn't like free food? Always. Okay, Absolutely. so we have a great partnership with Mission Barbecue where they're gonna be able to support our deputies and provide a meal for them while they're at work because even though we're working those 12 hour shifts, sometimes it's hard to remember to go grocery shopping, yes. okay? Absolutely. And so having that meal provided already by Mission Barbecue, we really appreciate this longstanding partnership with you all. And then we'll have some fun activities and games just so they can kind of break up the monotony from the day um, mm -hmm. while we're at work. So they'll get to come outside, get some fresh air, play some games, listen to some cool music. We do have a really amazing theme this year. Wild Wild West going. So if you're in the neighborhood of downtown, um, between the days of May 6th through the 10th, please feel free to stop by our department, show your appreciation for all that our deputies do, and then on Thursday, it's a party outside, okay? <laughs> Just go ahead and call it a mini block party because we gonna have a good time um, <laughs> celebrating our deputies and, and, and even NAFCARE, right? So that's a partnership that we have within our facility. And so it's also a week to celebrate our health workers that we have inside of our detention center. So we're super excited about even just getting the month started. So <laughs> we, we have a lot more to come. And in that same spirit, we get to hang out with Morningside students. And I will say that as an individual that does not like running, I'm so glad that we have this program in our elementary schools that encourage our students the, to, to get outside, to get mobile, because we know in this day and age where they're constantly on like their video games or cell phones that being outside in the nice weather kind of gets lost. Mm -hmm. So there's a program called Girls on the Run and their, their young girls have put together this amazing program to show appreciation for the officers in their community. So we'll be out there with them on May 9th. We're gonna do a community walk. So we'll walk through their neighborhood because we know most of our elementary schools are positioned right in the middle of the neighborhood. So we'll walk through the neighborhood, just kind of get a feel for the temperature of things in their community and how that may or may not affect their school day. And then they've decided they wanna treat us to dinner. Oh. We appreciate it. So a nice little walk through the neighborhood with alongside of um, the police department and then we get to go inside and be treated. Lovely. I love it. I'm excited about it. Can't wait. Can't wait. Thank you, Morningside, for the invite. Now, Kayla, yes. we have another very special partnership. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, we are partnered with Special Olympics, and we have many events that we're going to be doing over the course of the couple months to raise funds for them. Our very first event is going to be at Red Robin, and we're going to have the deputies waiting on these citizens as well as the sheriff, and I heard that he comes out in all his gear like a chef. So oh, I'm very snap. excited to see okay. him out there working. We would love for you guys to come out and support and see that fun experience that we get to have. And they enjoy us being there and we make friendships. I know I, I go out to the community sometimes and I see some of the individuals that were helping me and they're like, oh, I remember you as a like, hey girl. It's good to see you again. So it's a great time. And like she said, we have on our aprons and we're moving and grooving. So please just bear with us, but come out and support the Special Olympics yes. along with us. And we know it's Mother's Day weekend. So if you haven't already planned something special, if you're a last minute planner like me, you're going to bring your mama out, your grandma and them, and y'all going to come and eat and have and have a good time, okay? You're going to have a good time and eat all those Ooh. unlimited french fries because that's what gets Ooh. me every single garlic time. Garlic and butter on the french fries. On the french fries? Yes. What? I heard okay. garlic parmesan is much better. 
Okay, well, we'll see. Y'all have to come on out and tell us how you like your fries, okay, on May 11th, because we're super excited to um, to go out there and see you guys, okay? Tiana, I hear that we also have a thriving partnership with our seniors in this community. Can you tell us more about that? Absolutely, and that event is called Triad. And so we are doing Triad at the Envision Center on the second Tuesday of every month and at the time from one to two o'clock. And this month, we're gonna have the topic on social security with Mr. Paul. He is gonna be our presenter. And did you know that we also offer light refreshments? So definitely come on out. And also you can bring family members because this is not just for senior citizens. This is for the whole family from zero to 99. And I also heard about a big event coming up. We're going to have Kayla talk a little bit more about yes. that. So this um, is our very first Safe Community Expo that we're going to be hosting at the Berglund Center on behalf of Project Lifesaver. We're going to be doing multiple events there that day. We're going to have a car show. We're going to have law enforcement cars and civilian cars as well. A craft show that starts a little earlier. It's at 9 a.m. So if you want to get out there and shop before anyone gets there, you're more than welcome to come out a little earlier. We're going to have the free shred there as well. And you can bring your medications out if you missed the previous one we just had. And we're going to have food like hot dogs and chips, a 50-50 raffle. So it's going to be big and you have to come out and see us. We have a lot of vendors that are going to mm -hmm. be there. So it's just so much information and fun that's going to be happening at the Berglund Center. Very first Safe Community Expo. And we are excited because like Kayla mentioned, there's going to be so many resources there. So we'll be doing that. And then she mentioned Project Lifesaver, right? So I know sometimes you hear that term, you're just like, what is that? And kind of yeah. make you maybe think about the candy, the little Lifesaver candy, remember they came in all the different colors? <laughs> to this is not that, okay? <laughs> However, if you want to know more about our Project Lifesaver program, then you can reach out to Sergeant Tim Young here at the Roanoke City Sheriff's Office at 853-1515, and he'd be happy to give you all of the details you need on that program. And it's really about bringing loved ones home. So just making sure that we can keep our community safe and Absolutely. offer the resources that we need for, for our community. I'm excited, super pumped about Me it, guys. Too. Super so pumped. Excited. So that brings us to the second event that we'll be hosting um, in partnership with Special Olympics. So we do a hot dog sale. And when I mean we do a hot dog sale. Now listen, I'm not a hot dog eater, but I heard the chili that they bring Ooh. is just... Chef's kiss. Okay, chef's <laughs> kiss. Like she said, it's the best thing ever. So y'all gonna have to come out and tell us what you think about this homemade chili because I mean it's homemade chili. So you come on out. We're gonna be selling those hot dogs out by the sheriff's office on May 22nd. So again, it is a fundraiser for... Uh, Special Olympics, so that means you must bring your money because that's a fundraiser, right? Yes, okay, so bringing your money, you're yes. getting hot dogs, you're gonna play games, we have cornhole set up, it's gonna be a good time. It's kind of like a little miniature block party during the day, okay? So on your lunch break, come hang out with the coolest people in town, that'd be us. We're super excited to be able to host this in partnership with Special Olympics every year. And then Kayla's gonna tell us a little bit more about the partnerships we have with some of our students and community. Yes, so I have heard about this Monterey event that they have here many, many, many years that they've had it. It's gonna be their Spring Fest for 2024 at the end of the school year. And they're gonna have music, free dinner, games and treats. And I have heard that the sheriff gets out and does keep a shuffle. So I'm not gonna miss that, I don't know about y'all. <laughs> so if you have a grandkids, kids, or friends, family that go to that school, please come out and hang out with us and just see all the fun that we're going to have. Mm -hmm. I might get out there and dance. Uh -oh, so. Oh, let's Ooh, see let's what go you get. <laughs> we, We'll have to see if we'll put them to a competition, the sheriff versus Kayla on, on the Cupid <laughs> Shuffle. You tell us which one dances better. Five dollars on Kayla. Uh-oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll have to get to practicing before then. <laughs> you got it. You got yes. it. And then lastly, Tiana, I heard we got some real good fun at the end of the month. Oh, yeah. We're going to end it with a bang. And Woo. so we are going to be at William Fleming High School for the HBCU College Week. 
Hey, did you hear that there's going to be scholarship opportunities? Oh, yeah. So listen in. So on the first day on May 28th, that is going to be a welcoming band for the students in the morning from 830 to 915. Also, on the second day, that's May 29th, we're going to have a Greek showcase. And this is during lunch period for the students. We're going to have sororities and fraternities come out. And I heard they're going to do a little strolling. Wow. I cannot okay, wait now. for that. <laughs> and also on May 31st, that's going to be our HBCU, HBCU alum panel and table discussion. And this is open to all Roanoke City public schools. So let's have a good time. I heard you say HBCU. Yes, ma'am. Now, for those of us that don't know what that's stands for that's historically black colleges and university so i know we have representation from vuu here which is virginia union university we have representation from vsu virginia state university here locally at our william fleming high school so mm -hmm. if y'all don't know who these people are y'all better go find them because it's your <laughs> staff okay your staff attended these schools so just kind of go and talking to them and just getting a little bit of insight as to yes. why you know, they chose the schools that they chose, what really did it for them, what kind of set the bar for, hey, this is the one that I think I will fit best with. So we're super excited. And that's again on May 31st. So the last day of May, like Tiana said, taking it out with a bang, scholarship opportunities, they want to bring you to their school. But the only way to do that is to attend that panel discussion so you can gain that insight and all of that information. Okay, so come on out. Y'all yes. done heard it. We busy all month long. Yes, so you need to bring yourselves and come hang out with us. I heard we the coolest people in town. I Absolutely. mean, I don't know about them other folks, but I know we got it now. <laughs> so come hang out with us. We look forward to seeing you guys in the month of May. Bye. See ya.